to scare a player off the deck, wasn't it? He looks in there like, Dicko, Dicko! <laughs> Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my last player star season. Of course we're doing 3.10 and this is episode 298 of Avatopia. Um, we said last time we logged off in Grim Hex. We should wake up here and I believe this is Grim Hex. So we get up. Also before I logged off I also uh, bought some stuff quick as well. I haven't changed into any of it yet though. So if you notice my money is a little lower now than it should be. And it looks like, ooh, someone just got 30k. I'm hoping they literally just got it and logged back in. Not it's happening as I speak and I mean like, kid out since I logged in. Yeah, I need to start earning money, but like we said, we're going to look around Grimhex first and maybe take the rock out, or if not, that'll be the next episode, depending how big the new Grimhex is. Okay, so this, I'm assuming, is a bit the same. Holy fudge, that's different. Obviously, I'm waking up in the Habs. I don't know this bit. Holy fudge, what happened here? Okay, that's new. Looks like they've even touched up the Habs. The way out's over there, so let's go to the top, there's nothing different at the top. Because it's quite a we wake up in these. Okay, this is all the same. I just see that thing at the bottom's different. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say is different. Wow. Where's that thingy hat? I thought there was one of them we could open that possibly give you clues to get to uh, Benny Henge. Was that gone now? Because there used to be a haber that, that was near where you woke up. One that, that was a clue to find Billy Henge. You know, apparently, the citizens found it in the game without actually using the clues. Because I think Disco said about it once he was supposed to have this big, long, elaborate thing what took, it was to take people months to find. And other than the initial clue, they found it almost instantly afterwards, not going by the clues. Yeah, it looks like they don't have it anymore. Or if it moved. None of these open. What's that? Was it? <laughs> this is cool, though. That's something happening that shouldn't have happened. Okay, so we found one thing new already. Okay, so that's cool. I guess we're gonna explore Grim Hex. It's not really explored for a while. Since this was a new area. Oh, more haps. Oh, all oh, the haps are Ooh! Okay, apparently, the, apparently there's more haps. I always thought it was one set. Maybe there was always more. The ladies here before, I haven't seen them. Okay, this looks. Okay, I was worried they could fall through. Cool, on it. Yeah, I feel like I can't tell if this is supposed to be part of Grim Hex or is this just the game glitching here? What, what do you say? Okay, I'm very worried this is just a game with glitch. This it. Oh wait, no. Oh, okay, maybe not. Huh? Just went in the darkness. It looks like you're gonna fall. Huh? Or is it glitched? Okay, I think it has glitched, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to walk through this area. Because there's one of the habs. <gasps> Can you imagine the play with it looking in now? <laughs> Why? Yeah, because I'm behind it. It has glitched. Huh. Here you go, tickle tickle, that scare players off the deck, wasn't it? He looks in now like, tickle tickle! <laughs> Can I walk forward? Oh, I can't actually go in them. Oh, sure, I'm going this bit. Holy, okay, this wasn't expected. I know something new stuff, I was expecting this. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> the light on it on. I wonder. Oh, that doesn't really work. Kind of. <laughs> Go between this. So it wasn't what I came for, but hey, 
We'll take it. <laughs> I need to see what's in the different hubs. Because normally once you open your hub, you can't get back in. Or if you can get in and out of your hub, you can't get in someone else's. So... There's actually never been between these pipey things before. What's between the walls? Oh, what's in this one? Ah! Uh, oh, this is how I got in, wasn't it? Toilet paper, there's like massive toilet paper in the wall. Just like, I don't know, a bowl or something. I think it's toilet paper. Well, that's a towel. I was like, toilet paper? No, towel. The hell do we get back out? So, yeah, this part apparently needs to be fixed up. Huh. Hello. He's like, what are you doing? Girls, my friend. Just gonna see if anything's different at the top. I'm gonna try and open every one. Oh, that's cool. So you have to open up one. And that's cool because they could literally, you know, open these up temporarily when they need stuff. Like a certain person's been here, or whatever. Can I jump over this while I die? This way. Okay, got you in the way. Mate. Seriously, mate. Son of a beep made me do that. So, what do we have here? Oh, shop. Hello. So oh, this is where we're gonna get shields looks like and stuff. Hi, how do you say hi to you? Yep. Is there anything else on the shields or check? Well, I'm just in the chaff. Missiles, mining lasers. Propulsion. System coolers, power plants, weaponry, turrets, whatever that is, missile racks. And paints. Same paints as before, different. Oh, Valkyrie, we didn't have Valkyrie in the place, did we? So, Avengers. Oh, dear Auras. Okay. Hopefully, we've got always get more ships in there. Or a better colour for the Aurora. Nice to see you again. You too. It's quite nice actually re-exploring this because I've not really looked around for ages properly. These have already been in. Oh yeah, to tell you 1B. I should look out for the numbers. I don't remember if I've been in this or not. So let's see if anything looks different. But when we see 1B again, we know we've done it. No, I don't think I've been in these. Both the hubs we've just seen had something different or something wrong in them, didn't they? This one looks like a proper clear, clear one. Play a space for, for um, players now. Oh yeah, and this goes to the end, does it? Yeah. It's this one. Oh, 1A. Whoa! They like that, like the other hubs got something wrong with it, and they could swap them round, put new stuff in them, with, with like for patches if you want to get a story going, or something. It also makes it more lived in. It's like you know something happened that's for them to cut that off at some point. You know something quite major. Okay. Ah, this is the one, isn't it? Yeah, this is the, the, the link to the Big Bennies. This is where you must get your first clue. So, so it's still here. That's cool. Relentless, uh, brainless, brainless. 
And this was supposed to give you first uh, clue of finding it. Over to, I don't know what clue it gives you other than oh wait, it's out there. Oh. Ah. Installment I did your journal. Huh. So I was having a gym on it. I don't think I ever saw that before. You know, I'm interested. Let's see what, what we read it. We're not going to follow everything, obviously. I just want to know what it is. Remember this. It's a free-flowing expression of your thoughts. Don't hold back. Don't edit. But, but, oh, sorry. Be true, and you will find the truth. Impact our substance or transformation our rehabilitation. The medium is part of discussion as much as discussion itself is a medium of art. But when the message overcomes the peace is the ultimate goal. Should we work, stand or topple? Stop to ask what if, but make sure the remaining question is always why. Found another cricket? I can never say that word properly. Uh, through the work uh, is there salt on the space, there remain little bite behind the attack. The only kindness in the experience is that all left over risen from has been promised to a local art school. Hopefully it may find use as art yet. This is what I need to this, this pain. While I had some concerns at first, I am thrilled that my new hab is providing a fruitful ground for inspiration. Leaving the comfortable familiar behind and embracing the chaos of Grim Hex has been so... Was that cathartic? Cathartic? Whatever that word is. I have begun to count losing all my credits as a blessing. If I know correctly, when you go there, there's a guy underneath who's crushed by some big bennies. In other words, I think it's him. He died there. When I first saw it, I never clicked it. It's like, months later, it's like, wait a minute, there's a guy lying there. Maybe that's him <laughs> died doing his uh, whatever he was trying to do. See these, see these other artists who make it. There are uh, with his loom, looms lapping up the crickets. Uh, praise or Tamsi and her paint shop, paint ship, uh, painted ships. Their embracing of the commercialization of art is very poison that's destroying our souls. To expose how deep this camaraderie of humanity would be a true work of inspiration. I watched an ambush today outside the base. It was thrilling and terrifying at the same time, but it was the aftermath that struck me the most. The silence after the predators had flown away, stripping the cargo of their prey. I found myself transfixed by the drifting hulk of the wreck. The twisted shapes losing all function and becoming pure form. Definitely a, a moftif to explore further. I met a woman today who goes by the name Frito. She told me that if she was to die, she wants to be floated out in the asteroid by the big sister. She explained how her mother used to read the A gift for Baba's that babies Baba to her growing up and always related to the character. It amazes me the impact these stories of your you can shape our very being. What replaces them as we grow older? The stories stop, uh, but the need persists. persists. What are the fairy tale to give us comfort now? The answer came to me as my thoughts were interrupted by cries of so young, so wow, <laughs> from a nearby Big Benny's machine. This is how the story of humanity will be told. This corrupt cons consumeration will be the monument that we leave behind. A monument for me to leave behind. Huh, pretty cool. From that, I don't know how you're supposed to get clue to find the next log in it, unless they're just around here somewhere. Or there's a clue what sends you in the correct direction. Grim Hex 38. Because to me, this gets it started, so you're looking for it, but there's supposed to be clues that you're supposed to be able to follow that takes you to the location. You know, most people just find the location anyway. That's cool, though. Anyway, I think we've checked all the habs out again and the differences. Some of these might have been in here for multiple patches, but I always thought it was literally just one hab. I didn't realise there's so many. I don't know when they added the other ones. But then you wake up, I just kind of thought it was the same. <laughs> So they've been in these multiple patches, that's the first time I've, I've really realised. Okay, and there's the fine thing. Okay, so we've already been up there. What was this? This is to the weapon shop, right? Yeah, this is where I was earlier. You have to, you know, stop, stop the last episode. It's already been in here. Yep, weapon shop. Let's have a look up here. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute! This is the racing part! I found it! I did. I didn't expect it to be over here! Fudge! I was going to go around every part looking for it. We'll go over there a minute. Do we have another door to it? Okay, so let's just take me out the, the two opposite ways. So where are we? So we, we come out the left here. 
And we go up that door, or this door. Oh, okay, so there's two doors to it. Okay, so we know where that is now, so we're going to have a good look at that in a minute. This is the shop where I bought my clothes earlier. Yep, yep. I uh, just want to have a look see if anything else has changed quick. Um, to the same shop. What's down here? This is like a, this is where I thought they were more likely to put it somewhere along this area, for example. Oh, well, hello there. What do you sell? The hell do you want? Uh, I was exploring and chat, chat now. I guess he's a. a Wow, rude. Uh, I was, I was going to say, I guess he's um, a non-player character story giver. He's been added. Okay. And again, I apologise in the background. My dog is scratching at something. I can't really get that off the mic, which is doing that. And she's making it louder. Okay, I'm going. Okay. Sheesh. Okay, so we've got him. If I ever need to find him, we'll get a mission from him. Okay, come on, come on. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Caramba. Very broken down, very dangerous. Okay, so down here normally takes us to buy the the thing. Oh, no, it's the bar. No, it's through the bar that gets us so we can buy the, 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 the hacking chips, isn't it? Let me see, what are you doing over there? I'm trying to record, stop. <laughs> Did the bar work here? Yeah. He's up. I'm in the middle of something. So I thought they only the new baggage already done him too. Ooh, maybe they've done him too. Maybe we get a drink here. Let's see if he comes back. I was going to say, it looks like he's cleaning it and then he's getting super re dirty again, but I think it's his shadow. Mate, have a drink, please. Matey, drink. Matey. Can I? So if you better on your baggage. What can I get you? Hmm, okay, thank you. Uh be oh, do you have different liquors to them? You have Thanks. no liquors. Okay, you have no liquors, okay. Can I um pick a beer then? Anything different would you say? It needs to make the colour better, especially with what he's wearing. Look at a pike, liberty ale. Hey. Let's see if he's faster than a new baggage. This is where the new baggage stared at me awkwardly for about five minutes before he finally got me a drink. It looks like you're doing the same. Yeah, it looks like they've got the AI working. He's got to get the AI working a lot quicker. This is a real pub. Especially Grimhex one. You can see the person pull a gun out of his face. Come on, boy. Just get me that damn drink, you know. Being Grimhex. New baggage, you'd be, come on! And then she could be getting you out because you'd be getting annoyed with the guy not getting you a drink. Yep, coming right up. Finally. Whoa, that's cool, I threw the glass. Okay, to me, please. Let's keep adding you, make sure you're spitting it then. Thank you, mate. Let me have a look at this. Hmm, nice. Actually, I've got my helmet, haven't I? Remove helmet! No! Um. Okay, i got to just carry it then. Let me try this again. Unequipped. Now we should be able to just drink it. The one thing worries me, this kind of looks a bit like pee. Uh, that should be fine. I need a drink. Whoa, number characters asking for one. Be with you in a minute. Yeah, can I play a leaning like that? That's a number character. 
You want a drink or something? What? That's what he asked for. He said he needs a drink. I'll have a beer. Oh, he needs a tractor with him. Cool. <laughs> Just staring at him now. <laughs> he asked for a beer, mate. Yeah, they need it. They need the, the, the snappiness. To, <coughs> snappiness needs to be better. That's the only drawback right now. You ask for a drink, he asks for you, then he needs yep, coming right up, getting it. Not just staring at each other for half an hour. If they get the snappiness, okay. see? If they get the snappiness going. You know, that was actually quicker serving him than it was me then. Then they've really gotten onto something here to get that snappiness going. Don't see a glass now. I don't see a glass. He didn't even break his drink! <laughs> he just put his hand there! Whiskey. I pretended to pull, and then just annoyed him on the way back. <laughs> Mate, I don't think he likes you. <laughs> oh, boy, he has money. Let's see if he gets him a drink. I've got to see this, I've got to see this. Does he get him a drink? Yep, coming right on. Okay, he's agreed like he did for him. Will he actually get him one? <laughs> Boy. He wants a whiskey. Oh, he's actually got a glass this time. Oh, and the ice! Oh, he's actually got some ice in it. Oh, yep, he's definitely pouring a drink now. He's def. Oh, whoa! The, the bottle disappeared and teleported into that. He still pulled a drink. Oh, he dropped the bottle! No, he's got it in his hand. Okay. Is he giving in? Will he drink it? Will you drink it? Thanks. Okay, will he drink it? Because he never got him his drink. Oh, he's picking it up! Oh, he is too! <laughs> he doesn't like it, he didn't give him a drink. That's cool! I should put my drink back. There. Oh. Can you take someone else's drink? No. Buddy, what do you do to annoy him, eh? One second, alright? What do you do to annoy him? <laughs> he just pretended to pour into his hand and he didn't give you a drink. He got one. I got one. One more? Need something. Yeah, one more drink, please. Okay, I'll take a different beer. Uh, smells and bottle. Uh, hot foot beer. Beer draft. How do you get whiskey? I want whiskey, like him. Okay, stop looking like an idiot to get my drink, please. Buddy, watch this. We're bring me my drink. Oh, the guy finished it too. Nice. He, the one in the middle was like, Where's my drink? Thank you. He's like looking so nervous, like, I want a drink! I want a drink! <laughs> he has a glass, so I guess good. He is pouring it, good. Oh, the other guy just walked off! The other guy just walked off, he... <laughs> Screw you! You served him, served him, and then you annoyed me. Oh, thank you. That's like pee again. Why are you drinks like pee? The fudge, why can't I pick it up? Maybe something wrong with this drink, I can't pick it up. See you later. Mate, my drink, I can't pick it up, my hands aren't working. My drinky! <laughs> Wasn't the drink for the other guy, was it? He's up, I'm in the middle of something. Well, I'm trying to pick my drink up, but it won't pick up. Oh, one more glass! No! Okay, one more. There. What do they have? Was a Hoffy one? I don't know. Go with that one. One more. I actually want a drink that I can pick up. Apparently, I can't pick that one up. Today. Today. And I can go and check out the race and stuff. I can't believe he did that first guy, though. 
Pour into my hand. Nothing. Don't even give him a glass. Let me move up here so he puts it here for me. How about I pick this one up? Hey. Why do you look like P? Thank you. Thank you, bud. Need something. Okay. Okay, opening these. Okay, good. Left, right. Right back to the bar, right? So left. Should take me to the guy selling the stuff. Oh, not decompression now. And it'd be left then. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we go. Here they are. So this we can buy them from. And here I believe is another mission giver. I think he comes in like hologram here or something. Oh! Got you in the shower. This carnal is experiencing technical difficulties. We apologize for any inconvenience. Obviously if he called me here then I'll get some mission from him now. Yeah, I think this is basically the same. It's still nice to look around at. Okay. Hey, if you had, maybe there's a bar there too. Okay. Let's go to it now. So I think we basically covered everything. What's this? Click. Oh, for trade. Tra I was going training. Trading, even. There's nothing really new. So which was it then? Come out here and it's these steps up here and the ones around the left. So I'll take these steps. Let's see what this is like. Hopefully we because I know eventually, I don't know if it's just past you start betting on the race. And if you can do it now, then we'll do it now. That'd be great. Hey mate. So this is the new race area. Gambling responsibility, scramble races. Be cool if you get actually missions to be in these races. Races on hull two debris cl Ah okay, so they've got it in here but they haven't got the racing actually started yet. Okay, so but it's cool because it's like they've built this now and then they they it's getting everything set up but they've still got to clear so before they open it. Okay. So it makes it feel more lot living. So at least we can have a look at it. But this will eventually be a gambling area. So you can, technically if you're good enough, you probably make a lot of money just being here. Be a professional gambler. You can have a nice sit here and watch some zoom pass. Let's go. Hey, dude. Uh, got a drink. They need a bar around there. Do you have one? Do I do have to go literally to the other bar? It's not that far, but still. I'll have a drink all the way here. So you better sit here and watch them like zoom pass and shooting each other. Because scramble racing, if I'm not mistaken, they're the ones where you have to sh you can shoot at each other. I wonder what like what's gonna look like when it's done. Oh, and there's like a VIP one up there. Let's see if we can get up to there. There's nothing else in this area, is there? Oh, oh, I bet these are gonna be where you put the bets on. And because you better look at this, like races coming up, and you better put the bets on here probably. Oh, there's a little bit too. Let's go to a little bit first. Traders Hall. Oh, and just random gambling machines. You know, the fruities. Fruit machines. So you can have a set up here. I hope they like, they like do like a circle, you know what I'm saying? And like go sh right round this thing and, sh and maybe some in and outs to really have a good view from here. Okay, let's go up to the top and look at the VIP area. At least for criminals, anyway. This is, I guess, supposed to be illegal. 
Well, actually, these could actually be the. Uh, where you, you vote, so to speak. Vote. Well, not vote, in. Gamble. Oh, got some hot dogs. I wonder if I can buy any of these. Oh, we can. Do you have drinks? Or do you have to go to the local bar to get a drink? I don't know why I slurped when I did that. Oh. Oh, he has his beers here. Nice. So he has kind of got a bar. Okay, why am I slurping when I'm drinking it? I'm literally in real life as I'm doing it. I don't know why. Okay, don't slurp. <laughs> What do you have, boy? Mm. Give me a quick dog here. Classic dog. Mm. Thank you, mate. Oh, yeah. That's some good doggies. Let me get a cold, a cold one, shall we? So it's a little delayed with the, with the buying right now. Just need to... Oh, what the... Um... Hey! <laughs> That's not what I want. Try again with actually my hand this time. There we go. That's more like it. Can I put this away and keep it? No, I still can't store. I can drink it. Whoa! It's a bit high. Okay, calm down. Okay, put it down, put it down. You're all like an alky. Okay. And then what's left is up here. For the VIPs. Be cool as well to have like, oh yeah, let's got a guard too. Have like a big non-player character VIP up here, or like the, who runs this, or some players actually up here doing that. That'd be cool. Hmm. Cards. Yeah, this is definitely the best view, isn't it? Oh, you get a nice view over there. You expect them to basically like go under this a little bit and around. That's a course, good buddy. Nice, nice. Wow, that's cool. Can't wait till this is actually activated. You can actually. See Put some money on the races here, and like I'm assuming there'll be money put on players too. So like you have non-player character races, and then if players have, have a mission to join them and put money on the player if you want. So like you could be, oh this guy wins every time, put it on, but then a player shows up and just destroys it. Yeah, like, no, but he put it on that player and he crashes and messes up. You're like, no. Or even, oh that'd be cool. Like it's, it's, it's an ad, but like I'm not, but let's say I'm good at racing. So you assume over Tiffy me come here, she bets on me every time, and I win. And we rake the money, and that'd be cool. You know, trouble is I'm not that good at racing, so that will be a thing. Excuse me. That is cool. It looks like this is going to be something. I think I open up. Avoid risk high. Races on hold, ADVO risk high. Scramble race. Oh, this is not. Oh, this could be a better office actually too. Ooh. Neat. So which way did I come? Oh, I must be this way. So which way did I come in? Ooh. Oh yeah, that's the thingy shop. I was like, oh, I've been over there. Yeah, that's the literal way I came in. Let's do the route. I'm confused that. Something new over there? No, I've seen that. Mobile times. It's like the one place I don't know in this area. You know what? 34 minutes for this episode. I think that's not bad. We've got a quite nice Grim Hex look in there. And I think then we'll leave the Rook a rock. What are we going to call it to the next episode? So the next episode I will take it out. I'm going to fly to a moon and then like an outpost and pull it out there. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll probably fly to a moon, an outpost. And then if I get, get uh, cause I make most outposts you can call ground vehicles. I can call it that way and also call um, ships. I might be able to call my carrot out see if it fits. Call my misc freelance art and see if it fits. Obviously, I, I believe that it will fit in them easy, but I mean, will it fit with something else? Like, can I dragonfly fit in with it? 
That's so fancy. Thanks how much room I have left. That's why I gotta get this episode. So please like, please subscribe, please share this time. I've been Ivy you have a great wonderful day out there. I hope you enjoyed this relook for me at Grim Hex with a few new added things in there. That I haven't seen before, a few things that you might have seen with some of the old hab things that added in reels are in there. So new for me. And my guy got all drunk. <laughs> I do think though once they do implement the alcohol to actually affect the characters, I think the amount of drink drink he's had at this point, he'd be like, Oh I shouldn't have been just flying next. <laughs> Anyway, please like, please subscribe, please tune in next time. Have a great, wonderful day. You've been awesome. Share the video, subscribe, put some comments. Thank you very much. Bye, Rob.